Hello and welcome to Tice TV. Uh, Neil, I see you all know me and Ryan. Ryan, uh, I know you've been busy working and everything like that, so it's uh, great to have you on and you've been able to join us. Um, just going to put it out of here because there's bits doing social media around and just been talking to Ryan about it. Uh, sad passing of Anton Roberts. Uh, I personally didn't know him, but I know he's been well liked on social media. Um, what I can get, I'm not scaremongering, I'm not like second guessing what I'm just reading. Apparently, it's looking like an art attack for a gentleman. Been to the game and it after, happened after the game, going to coach uh, Ryan. So, again, I personally didn't know him, but what I am seeing, there's a lot of love and a, you know, a decent block that looks in it uh, from Oil and Reds, Manx, Alan Smith. There's a lot of people commenting. Uh, yeah. And again, it kind of puts uh, football in perspective when you're. Yeah, sad news like that, Ryan, doesn't it? You know. Yeah, it really does, poor lad. You know what I mean? Obviously, yeah, you know, my heart goes out to his to his friends and family. It's it's first I've heard of it because I'm not like I'm not particularly on social media, so mm. it's mm. first I've heard of it when you mentioned it today, and it just seems, you know, I can just picture it as coming out of the ground. Last night we're all coming out of the ground a bit disappointed, and and that mm. poor lad's had to, you know, he's obviously had a a medical incident and he's passed away, and it's it's. Yeah. yeah, it's awful. It, nobody should have to go to football and come away yeah. with that lo 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 losing the life, I suppose. But it's, it's been, yeah, yeah, Not it's good. awful. Like, I hope we can give him a good send off um, against Oxford on Saturday. I'm yeah, sure we'll, I'm I sure think we I've, I'm seeing some weird run about uh, minutes applause. I think Ipswich game. Um, I'm seeing some right. around Vib. So whether they're going to organise that, but if, if if we do find out what's happening, we'll put some out there on his, on his yeah. Uh, videos. But yeah, good. Shout back and Ryan, you know, it kind of, you know, uh, just maybe 61st minute, give him if it could be 61, yeah. Really, you know, so maybe 61st minute, everybody gets up, gives him a clap, and then give him an yeah. official send off for, for it's his game. But the poor lad, that's that's yeah, that's awful, and uh, you know, it's really sad, yeah. Uh, so everybody at Tax TV, all Bounty fans, really, I mean, you know, yeah. uh, don't have to be Tax TV, but I'm sure all Bounty fans will join us and just you know, send the condolences, like Ryan said, to family and friends and his uh, loved ones. And again, unfortunately, having to say this, but of a gentleman that passed away, one red, always a red. Yeah, um, right, right. So we'll get we we'll get on to the game. I mean, Lincoln. Uh, we've just been discussing about it, and there's a lot of comments being said about you know we should have took it. It's automatic cover and this that other. But watching game, I mean, I'll get your take on it. But what I what I could see, you could see why Lincoln Town have got 20, 20 draws in league, mate. Absolutely. They set the you know the the set up well, they defend well, but they don't seem to want to go out and win game. You know they, they were happy to they were happy to get a nil nil draw at home from 60th minute onwards. It, you know, like I said, they're well drilled and they were difficult to play against. But some at time, you know, they would start wasting time from 60th minute onwards at nil nil mm. at home when there's no jeopardy on game for them at all. They can't go up, they can't go down. Why don't they come out and just have a go at us? Mm. You know, why don't they come out? And their fans seem to be buzzing. They seem to be loving it. You know, and just keeper went down and there were, you know, there were players going down left, right and centre. Every time keeper got ball, he'd throw his son up floor and smother it. And it's from, you know, from a long time out. Maybe at, at one, one point, I thought over. goalkeeper was going to go off because he looked injured. I think, you know, he's going to get kitted off and took, shipped off. And then not and long after the that, but another player went down and we were in mid floor. I didn't see you go off at the pitch. What that, that was shocking from referee. I can't believe it. you know he went down. He weren't even. He weren't. It weren't like he were in area out and he were. He was going to be, no. um, you know, obstructing play. It would played on, and it's up to us to play on. It's yeah. not an head injury. It's yeah. up to us to play on, and we can put the ball out, right? You know, Jordan Williams got in a really good position down right. Teddy were in middle, and then rest block me. So I just can't. I can't fathom some of these decisions. And that lad just got up. Just got up. It, it, medics didn't even have to come on. Mm. Mm. After it had done, he got up. Ref should have given him a yellow card. He, he was going to say it should have been carded for that, surely. Yeah, I don't, right, I don't think it? Ref made loads of poor decisions last night. I just thought it would have been weak, mm. and it, you know, and he fell for it. So you can sort of see why they've got that many draws. You know, they've only lost one at home, which sounds brilliant, but they've drawn thirteen at home, and that's that's rubbish. That's twenty six points dropped at home. That's terrible. Yeah. That's why. That's why you are where you are. It's all I'm like I mean, saying, you, you know, they draw a lot, they're difficult to beat, but it's fair to say if you draw if you drew every game in season and went season unbeaten, you'd be at risk of relegation with that. Because yeah. of the points accumulated from it. That's true. It's not, it's not it's a good thing to be difficult to beat, but you need to go do it on the other end as well. Um, yeah. having said that, you know, we didn't play 
particularly well. We didn't do anything that probably said we deserve to win the game. You know, mm. there weren't many chances that we created. Mm. You know, if you look at the stats, they were one shot on target, and that yeah. was that one that Luke Thomas put straight Luke down. Thomas. Yeah. Mm. You know, there were a goal, you know, there were a goal, goal mouth scramble work there. I still don't know how it didn't go in. Kane blazed it over bar when he should he should be hitting target from there. Um so despite you know, like despite those other things and, and Lincoln, you know, with those those type really sort of poor negative tactics, but being making yourself difficult to beat, we still didn't do I don't think we did enough to win. That bit of quality deserve, misses. deserve three points, I don't think, you know. Mm. Um, it weren't like we were robbed. We were probably a better team and we were only ones that actually wanted to go and win it, but yeah, frustrating night, mate. Frustrating night. But there you go. I mean, you look at Lincoln. I mean, now I think we've we've took points off our all top four, either draws and stuff like that. That's Plymouth, Ipswich, Wednesday and us. And you can kind of see why difficult and set up hard to beat. Either they'll go long ball or time waste, like you've touched on there. Yeah. They'll go direct route, so they're, they're cutting out the, the midfield. And again, that like sucks, such as us and above, uh, teams above us. What? want to play football, it kind of gets you into, well, not an, not a, a game what you like want to watch and want to no. be part of kind of thing. And I can't, yeah, but you're going to play to your strengths. I, I totally get that. But when you, like you just said, when they're cheering a, 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 a draw when you're at home, really? Oh, wow. And it's like, you need to be, surely, wouldn't it be a bigger scalp and say, yeah, look, we've took points off for uh, Ipswich, you know, as a win or, Barnsley people say, Oh, yeah, but you know, Lincoln and they haven't got this and that, but at the end of the day, for, ain't football all about winning and yes. not just settling for a job, is. yeah. It, it was strange, like I said, their fans cheering nil nil and they were, they, they were buzzing about it as well. It, they, you know, what I mean, it, it would just, I just find that a bit strange because do you, you think know, they, 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 they kept saying that there, there were some lads stood outside of me and they kept saying, Why are they not? Why are they not? You know, why they're just not throwing everything at it? It don't matter mm. if they get beat. Why just not try and go out there and, and go, you know what I mean? Put a, put a display on. Maybe try put two or three past the DC one at top of te- one at top teams. Why why not yeah. try that? Yeah. Why just be happy to play out a nil nil? Yeah. If it, maybe if they were struggling down at bottom of the league and and they were playing one at better teams and you know you that, it, you yeah. maybe understand that because it'd be a good point. Mm. Uh, maybe a game where they might have been expected to get beat, but no. <laughs> no, so it's just such a, it was such strange tactics, such negative tactics, and like you said, not really a spectacle and not really a game you never want to watch again. No, I mean it wants a different for trying to not go out and win it because it, it were making calls, you know, playing Benson at uh, right wing back, he swapped uh, Williams over to left wing back, yeah, trying to choke players up front to try and mix it up and try and go for a win. But I think, and I saw someone say, you know, we could have played well midnight and we still want to score. That's the kind of game it was. I'm just missing that bit of quality up front and, you know, we're huffing and puffing, but getting nowhere by it, won't we, kind of thing. Yeah, there were lot, lots of crosses didn't get past first man. Getting into good positions. Crosses weren't, yeah. weren't past first man. A lot of stray passes, you know. Uh, I thought Bobby Thomas played all right, but again, he had a couple of couple of wild ones, you know. Of we went got into decent positions. We weren't, mm. just didn't have that, that cutting edge, that final ball. Mm. Um, you know, I thought Phillips played well. Um he seemed to be putting it about a bit and he had that chance where he, he really did work well to create that chance where he had to, you know, he, he, he turned two of them inside out, didn't he? And then that lad yeah. slid across and got a good got a good block in. But yeah, a frustrating night overall, really. One of them, wasn't it? And I think it's I think it's probably fair to say that it's playoffs now, isn't it? And and that's good. That's good. It's, it well, shouldn't well, be that point it's actually confirmed that we're in playoffs, that yeah. point. So I think, which is good in a way, but mathematically possible, it's still automatic. Now, yeah. I, I'm glad you mentioned this because I'm going to come on to this like now. Realistically, Ed and Art, you know, we're going here. You've got to look at the teams above us like now and their runnings, you know, potentially they could slip up. I mean, yeah. at points at times, sorry, they were Ipswich and Plymouth were both, you know, down in points and stuff. And oh, there's that many different conundrums and standards what can go through. But you're looking, I'm looking at running like now, and there's some tricky. Some tricky runnings. I think Plymouth got a pretty decent running, if I'm being They've honest. They've got an easy running, yeah. They, they, uh, they, should be, they should be going up now, Plymouth. Yeah, I think Plymouth will, will be automatic. Yeah. I've got a... I've just got a suspicion that I think Wednesday might go up automatic. I think we was playing Ipswich. Yeah. 
and that could like drag them down into third. I, I, I don't know what your article yeah. is, Ryan. And, and Ipswich have got Peterborough away this Saturday. Yeah. And that's very good away. Peter Peterborough, Peterborough playing well. I know they got beat 2 0 by Cambridge, but a local derby away. I know it could yeah. have been a local derby. But prior to that, and last night again, they won again. So, mm. you know, Peterborough in really good form and, and they're a strong team at home historically. Yeah. Mm. So that's definitely a difficult, that's a, that's a really tricky tie for, for mm. Ipswich. And then they've got to come to us on a Tuesday night. Now, depending on what happens at weekend, depends on how vociferous that crowd might be yeah. to, to, to get behind Reds. Because, you know, if, if there is a loss by Plymouth at Peterborough, and it is, it is you know, it, it could quite easily happen. And we beat Oxford, we're three points away from them, and then it's and then it's getting and then it's getting close, and it and, and we Wednesday, who, who knows what oh, Wednesday's going to do? You know, what I mean? they're just so they're fluctuating so much at the moment. It's it's unbelievable, isn't it? Well, I'm so at, yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah, mathematically it's still on, but I think realistically, realistically we're in playoffs, and yeah, I don't want that to be a bad thing. You know, at the beginning of the season, if anyone had said to us, you're going to have 80 points at least, which we are, we're on 82. Hands off. And, and have a place in playoffs, and a good place in playoffs as well. We're not fifth or sixth, we're going to have home tie for the second leg. Mm. You know, you'd you'd, 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 you'd technically you'd have snapped the hand off, you would have. Mm. You know, and the positive side of it is, is I, was saying to, I was saying to my son last night, because he's not experienced it before, I said, you're going to, be, you're going to go to a playoff semi-final game where at Oakwell, where it's mm. going to be absolutely buzzing. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. It'll be an amazing experience. It'll be an atmosphere like you've like Walsall. Before. Like the Walsall, exactly. Because the last one, obviously, there were no crowd in. Mm. So, mm. like the Walsall game, we're going to have that experience as a minimum. Mm. And could well have a game at Wembley. So, it's, I know it sounds, it is a bit disappointing, but also we've got a fantastic opportunity to have, have you know two or three really good games where atmosphere is going to be buzzing there's going to be massive jeopardy on it and it's going to be really exciting so okay yeah. you know i'm just looking at table now done. and you <laughs> i'm just looking at table now and you've got plymouth on 89 played 42 you've got ipswich played 42 and they're on 88 third is wednesday they've played 43 and got 87 and then you look at us played 42 so I've got one game in hand of their Wednesday, and we're on eighty-two. Below that, you've got Ben Peterborough, uh, seventy-three points. Bolton on seventy-two, and Derby County on seventy-two. Wickham sixty-eight, and then Bart resting them. But you're looking at. I'm looking at that table there, and I'm thinking, do you know what? Like you've just said there, you know, um, we're about so you're going to finish in playoffs, and you're looking, you're thinking, yeah, second second game is going to be at Oakwell. Yeah. So you know. You've, you've got some point difference for you, and I can see, like I said, Plymouth are up for me, in my opinion. I think Plymouth have, have, have got this river running. Yeah. You look at then Ipswich on Wednesday, 88 and 87. But like I said, we've got to play Ipswich. We can get them. We're on 85. So again, it's breathing down the next. And if they have a bit of a wobble and a bit of a jitter, you never know. You never yeah, know. MK like Dons, and we've got to come, you know. Yeah. Especially at Peterborough, because Peterborough, Peterborough are fighting to stay in that playoffs. Because yeah. one loss and you, one loss in your seventh. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, because look at that, the, the difference between Derby in seventh and them in fifth is one point. Is one point. Mm. So both, but all them are scrapping to stay in that there. So Peterborough are going to be, <laughs> they're not going to mm. be doing it a canter. They're going to be tra- they're going to be doing everything they can to win that game against Ipswich. Mm. Mm. So it, it is it it's not impossible yet. It, is it? Is it unlikely? Probably, but there's plenty. As 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 we've seen of late, there's plenty of twists and turns to to be to be done. And, and to be fair, during the game last night, it, it looked like at one point it were all going our way. <laughs> Apart yeah. from Wednesday, you know, yeah. Plymouth Plymouth were, Plymouth were getting beat, and, and yeah. Ipswich were getting beat, and it was like, yeah. and then we went all the way. Come on, we can get this done now. This could be a brilliant night, and then it went all the way. I think the only way it could have got but worse is if we'd have got beat. But yeah. So you many know. different uh, scenarios. That is. I mean, I, I, after this game, you know, Lincoln game, you're coming away from it, um, and we'll do a preview for game coming up against Oxford yeah. coming up. But from the game, what you what you've watched and what we've what we've seen against Lincoln, bearing in mind, you know, because people say, yeah, I'll, I'll you know, I can't believe we started with him. We should have done this. We should have. And it's like, you know, it's not an emergency panic button job here because you look at Lincoln, you, 
got to understand what we've done and how we've altered and disrupted our play. Yeah, yeah uh, we didn't, you know, we were missing that bit of quality, but it won't look like a trying, but we're trying, but we're just getting nowhere by it. Looking at the Lincoln game with a, you know, the team, would you would you be thinking, nah, we're going to have to approach Oxford game in a different way, we're going to have to drop this? Is Would the old there alarm you to think, mm, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I just think Lincoln didn't want to play, did they? You know, they they just wanted to make it. They made it very difficult to break up, and and sometimes mm. they'll do that, and it'll spoil anybody's game. Like you said, they've taken points off top four, all yeah. top four, yeah. who have been brilliant at various different stages in, in in the season, haven't they? You know, for for majority of the season, some of them have been have been really really good teams and putting teams to the sword. So I think they just no. I don't think there's any time for the panic button. Um, it's clear to say I think there's we're not quite as best um, mm. in the last few games, and I think there's a few players that are not playing so well. Like I don't think Jordan Williams is, for some reason, don't seem to be bit quite at the races at the minute. He seems to do the right thing, get ball back, and then just get ball away too much. Mm. Um, even Connell were a bit off last night, I have to say. Um, mm. I mean, he's still his work rate is still phenomenal, but he's he's passing was terrible at times. Like a bit of quality, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was just frustrating. I don't know if it was just frustration. So I don't think there's anything we need to do different. But, you know, what we've done so far this season, playing the way that we play, has got us to where we are. So I don't, sure. you know, right towards the end of the season, we need to, I think we need to stick to, you know, stick to that game plan. I don't think there's any need for, it's not like we've been thumped 6-0, is it? It's, it's, it's no. 0 well. So it's, it's, there's no need for panic buttons at times. Yeah. No for me, it's getting those ready for. I mean, ideally, is to get a sense ready for playoffs now. That's it. I mean, yeah, I, I get you on that because it's like we haven't been hammered. We've, we've, we've come away. It's been frustrating. You know, players with sense will be frustrating about it. it, it even Duff and his backroom staff will have been up frustrated because, uh, you know, with an opportunity we missed and the new we're up against the tough Lincoln side who were happy to for, for draw. But again, we haven't been hammered. We've it's a clean sheet. We haven't. You know, the goal difference and 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 affected all. We haven't got any minuses on that, so I get where you're coming from with that. And it's just a matter of, you know, don't panic. We've got where we've got. It's been working. Unfortunately, we've come up against a team like that. But mm. why why change it? You want to be going to playoffs in right frame of mind, right form, right. You yeah, know, you want well. everything to be ticking boxes. You start thinking about it now. And it's like, well, well hold on a minute, it's gonna you're gonna might derail this and it what's been working, why all of a sudden oh we'll do we'll start this one. And I can't see that happening. I, I you know, I, I don't want it to happen. Just carry on doing what we're doing. We'll we'll click back on, you know, we'll yeah, go we'll. through a bit of a blip, move on. That's it, we've done now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think I think we're missing Cadden down left. Not that not that mm-hmm. um Ladder Kesh is a bad player, he isn't, it's just that Cadden offers that, you know, he does run to the byline, he takes people on, yeah. and he's got a great ping, he's got a great cross, which we haven't got from the other side. Yeah. Williams yeah, can't see him right, across right. the ball half the time. Yeah. Um, don't seem to be able to get past first man. So it, you mm. know, it'd be really, it'd be, it'd be very, <laughs> very nice to have uh, to have Nicky back. Mm. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't think. I mean, I, I did. What I tell you, what I didn't agree with last night was taking taking Norwood off when he took both strikers off. That's only how I like. I tell you something. It looked frustrating right, when he came off. And all he, Norwood, yeah. it looked frustrating when he come off. He was. He was biggest threat. Mm. by a mile he probably the best player on the field yeah. he was like in the second half what he did and he chased their defender down he slid one he slid another I gave actually, him my man at match to Norwood actually yeah uh, absolutely that. I agree yeah, with you I yeah absolutely he slid, he slid again he, he, he were really at it and then he took mm. him off and, they, and he put you know Tedich and, and Waz and Waz did nothing he did mm. nothing mm. he just he looked, he looked like he weren't bothered for some reason he just he weren't chasing up down and we lost that edge Mm. I can understand why I took Cole off. Cole didn't have the best of games, and maybe you know their defenders were strong, and it made me thinking bringing Teddy on to to hold it up because he's big mm. and he's strong, and he can back into him. But it'd have been ideal for. You could have seen Teddy and Norwood work, couldn't you? Yeah, it'd have been ideal. Yeah, exactly. It'd have been ideal for Teddy holding that ball up and laying it off for Norwood. Mm. Yeah. And you know, no, he, he, you know, he does make those runs. Don't he? he makes those runs. He chases that ball down. He never gives up. So I thought I thought that were. Not that I want to criticise Michael Duff or anything. I just thought it would have... No, no, but it's your own opinion. Odd, I just thought it were an odd decision to take Norwood off when you were clearly mm. the biggest threat we had. Mm. So, that's, yeah. that's I, mean, I meant to mention that earlier, to be fair, but yeah. No, no, what is? I mean, yeah, for me, like like you just touched on there, for me, Norwood was my man at match. Uh, you know, he did look frustrated when he, when he came off and 
I suppose that's what you want to see in a player, but you know, frustration. Absolutely, but, yeah. You know, all being well, it can G him up a bit more and uh, game a more, bit more fire in Bellas if he needs any more. For Oxford game coming up on Saturday, so yeah, that'd yeah. be interesting. <laughs> so it might have fired him up a bit more for that. But uh, yeah, I mean, let us know your thoughts and comments. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share below. Um, disappointing day. Uh, kind of puts football in perspective when you hear oh. San as well. But again, we're down, but not out. We're still in it. So. Yeah, frustrating, yeah, a bit down, but we're still there. We're still there. Possibility, you know, yeah, slim possibility that it's automatic with, you know, yeah. different scenarios. But we are guaranteed in playoffs. Now it's about going into, in, into uh, right frame of mind and right form uh, and take it on. And like what Ryan said, all being well, we can get for people that haven't been before, you know, the Walsall game, absolutely electric, buzzing night. Um you know, and keep that's key if we can get it second his second game at home. Uh Ryan, it's always been a pleasure talking to you, mate. I uh, appreciate well, you taking time out and joining me. Um let's move on to the weekend. Let's get three points. Let's get back to Oakwell. Let's make it a fortress again. Um one thing left to say, you reds. <laughs>